What's going on guys? Another storage unit haul video guys. Um, if you have not seen that video, it's the antique unit slash vintage unit that me and mom picked up. And uh, guys, I filmed this one right after the other one, so no news yet. I'm gonna see her at 11 tomorrow and I will uh, give you guys an update. Um, this is gonna be a little cooler box. Hopefully you guys like this video. And uh, basically, long story short, we did the hour and 40 minute storage unit video. However, people are like, please show me what's inside the boxes because we just didn't have enough time to show everything. So that's kind of what we're doing tonight. This is the last video I'm gonna make. And um, if you guys have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It's right below the right side of the video, the red subscribe. Because I promise you, we've got a lot going on this year. And uh, hopefully you guys like these videos. Um, I wouldn't do this for every single storage unit. This is just a unique one. And uh, a lot of people like this one. But all right, let's get into it. Some cool stuff, guys. So I'll put you down right here. You can see my spear fingers. All right, so you got the first box. I always show you what's inside the box. Remember, guys, um, I... Uh, like, look, this box here. I have not, um, some of these, like, boxes. I'm still, I have not opened these boxes since the live storage unit video, guys. So, I literally just boxed it up, and so I'm going through it now. So, this is the first time. All right. Let's do this. So, this one had a box within a box. So, let's go ahead and show what's in here. All right. So, the first item we have... Look at this, it's got the sleeve too. Um, it's in, looks like it's in really good condition. Look at that. It says Hong Kong, Hong Kong right there. Um, and you can see it's all there. And that's the bottle number. You guys can see that bottle number there. So this guy looks like in really good condition. It's an old radio guys. Got your your volume there and uh, your tuning right here. So, pretty cool. All right, next. Look at this bad boy. There's a lot of dust on it, guys. A lot of dust. That's the brand. So, and this is an alarm clock, I think, slash clock. Um, you can kind of set it there. And this one was made, this is the 1230 series. And it says Clock Swiss Radio Japan. So it's made in Japan. So I'm hoping there's no corrosion in there though, because I can see a little bit of flaking, but I don't know if that's corrosion or not. I'll have to see. That's the second item. People love old alarm clocks, guys. Here's another one. Wow. Um, this is genuine leather cowhide. But look at this thing. Um, it looks in pretty decent condition. It's got the tuner here. That goes up and down. That's the brand for it. Um, you can click your um, AC adapter right there and headphones. And it's um, original cowhide. So, and then that's the bottom. So it looks like it's in really good condition, guys. Wow, oh my gosh. Look at that! The back opens up. And then it has a manual right there. I had no idea they do that. That's crazy. You can see everything in there. Wow. And then the battery supply is below. So you just like snap it in place. That's crazy. That's an amazing, amazing one. All right, we have some knives. We have some knives. Let me put this down a little bit so you can see on the ground, or on the uh, table there. Let me see if I've got any more knives I can show. Nope, that's it, all right. So we had some knives on the last couple of videos. Um, I can't read this. This is made in, um, I think it says made in Finland, but I could be wrong. Anyway, this auto focus on this camera, man. Okay, so that's one. Feels like a wood piece here. So that's one, and here's another one. Look at the buttons on those things. That is awesome. 
be careful. I don't want to rip my, cut my finger off here. All right. This is, oh, Imperial made in the United States. So right there. And it's a really nice knife. You can see, you know, and the handle's just crazy cool. So, two knives. All you knife users out there may know. Imperial made in the United States. It's got its own case. Okay. Look at this. Cool box. Solid wood. Solid wood box. And it has a little watch in there. It says tower. So it's kind of taped up a little bit. But it's pretty cool. Let's see if we can open it. Oh man, let's see. It still spins, which is nice. Hmm. This thing's not opening. Maybe that's why they had tape on it. Anyway. Yeah, I don't want to mess with it. But pretty cool. Put that back in. All right. Oh, here's the identical box. So now there's two of them right here and look at this guys man it's a rosary um, kind of an old rosary you can tell though how old it is I mean you can see the, the beads on that thing so We'll put that back in the box. This thing is just so cool. I showed it on the live. It's got a lot of cool stuff in there too, we'll show you. But look at this thing. So this is a box and it says, ah oh man, I can't even read that. Is that Cody something? I don't know. But look at that thing. Wow. And the top comes off. See there's anything on the back. So you can kind of see on the back, but let's see what's inside. We have a belt buckle. So. And we have a couple of belts that can go with it. We also have a watch. Oh, come on, focus, focus for me. Pretty cool watch, guys. It looks in decent condition. Obviously doesn't work right now, but we also have an older knife. I already have a lot of those. Um, and this one here just says, uh, it says 3501. Oh, wait. Uh, I can't read it. I want to say Hil Hilbert, something like that. I don't know. It's kind of wore off, but oh wow. Let's see if there's any markings on here. This is probably tarnished silver, maybe. Is that tarnished silver? So I think this is what they put their cigarettes in. Um, Cause you know, it's nothing in there. So I could be wrong. Then we have a lighter. An old lighter. Oh, doesn't work. Oh wow, what the heck? Look at this guys. So you push it up. Isn't that awesome? Let me move this box. I think it's interfering with the. the uh, I think it's interfering with the autofocus, but or the focus on here. But yeah, that is a cool 
All right, and another one. I don't know if this is like alumina or like what material this is made out of. An older knife. But pretty cool. What is this? It's like a, oh, you hooked this up probably to your, oh, this is perfect. I gotta keep this thing. You hook it up to your belt probably, and then you have a knife. So it's an old knife that you hook up to your belt. And uh, yeah, it's got the chain on there. So, and then we have a couple old dice on here. All right, let's put this stuff back here. Yeah, we're keeping that. This thing is heavy. Like this lid right here is really heavy. So, all right, let's continue here. What? This just says five bucks, so I doubt it's anything real. Nah, it doesn't feel real to me, but. It's the box that came in. But yeah, um, it only comes with one cuff. Man, yeah, only one cuff. So. Hey, this stuff may sell. So it only comes with this one. And then here's two more. So. It doesn't, it feels fake to me. I, I, in fact, I almost know it's fake, but it's still really cool. Somebody may want it. And that's it in there. All right, let's go to the next one. What's in here, what's in here? I forgot what's in here. Oh, crap. Yeah, so kind of just an older, older box thingy. And then it has um, some, some uh, watches in here. I do have a watch guy that I take my watches to, but this is at um, a Seiko. Let's see. That's trying to focus. Darn it. Okay, here's this guy. And we also have another one here. Uh, and then we have also a tip top. So an old tip top um, watch. This thing's old, look at that. Look at the, the round part of it. The face. Wow. Kind of just like, and then we also have another, man, I can't see if the numbers are on there, but another one of these guys. All right, so that's four watches in here, guys. Let's see if any of those are worth some money. Okay. We have a basic field soldier's handbook, guys, from 1941. It's a basic field manual so soldier's handbook. This thing could be worth some good money. I don't know if there's a lot of them out there, but look, just shows you everything. That is really cool. Um, United States government office. Prepared under direction of the Chief of Staff. Wow, that's really cool. All right, what do we got here? Message book for the um, US Army. Never seen one of these. Oh, what? What is this? So, instructions right here. I can't see because I'm showing you guys, but it's a message book. Let's see the back to the back. A message book. Yeah, and it just says submit to submit message under 
Huh. Are you going to submit a message? And there's a lot of them in here, guys. So, look up. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? All right. I don't remember this. Yeah, I don't remember this. It says Maine Japan. Right there, Maine Japan. What is it? Is this a big ass lighter? What the heck? I think it's, there's no way that can be a big ass lighter. It says made in Japan, patent number 463177. I don't know. I don't honestly don't know what this thing is. I mean, I'm assuming it's like kind of like a lighter. Oh. But, huh. It's got its own pouch. Maybe you guys can tell me. Maybe you guys can tell me. Maybe you guys can tell me. Here's another box. Van Dyke. Alrighty, let's see what's in here. Oh, this is a, oh my gosh, this is awesome. It's like this unit just keeps on get, giving and giving. So here's an old hat. I don't know if this is like just, it looks like a military hat to me. But maybe, look at this guys. A bunch of old wallets in here. Wow, wow. Um, I'm gonna go through if it doesn't show any personal stuff. Um, I will uh, take that out. Personal stuff, yeah, it does have some personal stuff. But look at this old wallet. And then you've got your, you know, where you put your money, your divider in there. You put that back in the middle there. This thing is cool. It's design on it. Old wallet. And you've got your, I showed this in the video, where you have to put your keys. These things actually still sell. So if you're wanting to buy something like this, they still definitely sell. So this says addresses. This says addresses on there. So I'm assuming this is kind of older addresses. Yeah, address book. The world's greatest dad, that's old. What the heck is this? What is this? Okay, so it's like a little pouch thing, right? But it's got a metal in there. Uh, I don't know. Look at that. So, older metal. So uh, pretty cool. Put this back in the pouch. Now we do have some coins in here, my guys, my dudes, my ladies. We got some coins in here. So look at this. Um, I don't know what the heck's going on there. I don't know anything about coins. I'll have to look through these coins and see and do a little research on there. Uh, this one's kind of unique. It's a Union Pacific coin. It's like aluminum. Union Pacific. So. All right, let's continue. We don't want to make this video too long. But that was a really cool thing. All right. Oh, this is heavy. What's in here? Look at this box. This thing is crazy cool. It's like tin. There's a lot of stuff in there, so I don't want to rattle around too much. What do you guys think's in here? Oh my gosh. 
Whoa, oh my gosh, this video is gonna be a little longer. I'm sorry, guys. All right, so let's do the first things first. We have an old camera. Some of these don't go for a lot of money. Um, let's see, how do you pop it? I had one of these back in the day. And I sold one of these. It's a pop-up camera, right? I don't know, anyways. No camera. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so we have an old camera there. Look at this iron, what the heck was this for? It's definitely not smashing down hamburgers. <laughs> it's a small little iron. So, let me move this one here, focus, okay. And we have another watch here. Oop, sorry guys. Why are you focusing over there? Maybe that way, okay, good. All right. So anyways, let's move light around, right along. We have an old dice. Oh, wow, did that break? That leather is like really touchy right now. Man, hold on guys. The button doesn't work anymore. Darn, darn it. You can kind of see old dice. And they got dragons on them too. Well, let me just see if I can get in here. I mean, it doesn't work anymore anyways. Okay, look at these. Old dice, guys. So those are really cool. I don't know. Well, some old dice go for good money, and you gotta, you gotta see. Here's another band. Here's the watch. Here is a little tie deal. Got a lot of knickknacks in here, guys. Let me push you over here, and I'll show you. I'll show you the knickknacks. All right. So, another knife here. Look at that. Try to hold this. Uh, can you guys see that? Nope. Okay, so this says 10K on it. You see that 10K? So this says 10K gold. Wow. What the heck? Let's get all this jewelry out just to see what we have. All right, guys. So this is the jewelry that was already in one of the other videos. Look at all these rings on here. And some of those said 14K gold. And then these ones I just found in this tin right here. So this is, this one says 10, uh, 10K gold on it. Um, so this is 10K gold. I'll see that one, what that one says. Um, let me bring it up to me so I can kind of see. Yeah, this one says 10K gold. So that's 10K gold. This one doesn't have any, but it doesn't mean it's not gold from what you guys were telling me. Um, 
This one has 14 karat gold. So this is a 14 karat gold. And this one here I can't read it. Well, anyways, guys, we'll put it with this. I'll get it all tested. But this could pay for the unit right here. Wow, it's crazy. All right. Let me zoom out here. Okay. So. That's nuts. I'm going to put this stuff in here. It actually may not fit. Uh, oh, yeah, it does. Okay, good. This could be a lot of gold right here, guys. We do not know. So, let me put it over here. All right. That was a pleasant surprise. No. Okay. All right, put this stuff there too. Man, this thing's gonna be long. I'm sorry, guys, but it's just. Here's a kind of another Western set. That was in the box. Oh, we have a train. This one says Main Japan. So this is a Main Japan train. Let me uh Okay, there we go. That is pretty cool. Wow. So Probably about three or four inches. Okay, so we got all that small box. Oh my gosh, guys. I have so much more to go. Wow. Um, so this is a really cool find, guys. So look at this thing. So basically, it's a programmable scanner receiver from back in the day. And um, look at this, though. Like, look at the graphics on that thing. So it's not extremely old, but um you can see here but get this guys i opened this up in the main video it's in the package sealed so they never used it so it's brand new sealed so that is crazy cool it's one thing getting old uh new stuff that's in the package when you get old stuff that's in the package we also have a um, microphone here, and I don't think this has been used because it's new. So, yeah, it's in the package. I don't know how much this thing goes for. I'll have to check, but it's in the package. All right. So it looks like, oh wow, does this go to the Kenwood? Um, oh no, what is this? No, this is, oh sorry, this is an old phone book, never mind. Uh, <laughs> this is an old phone book, guys. Wow, this is 1989 old phone book. So, now uh, we did get a log book, Kenwood log book. And just some miscellaneous stuff here. Like there's some programming stuff here. This one says message forms. And then look at that. I don't know if you guys, if that's going through okay, but you can kind of see, I think these are like what coordinates or something? I don't know. I don't know what that is. All right, let's see what this bad boy is. Hope oh, old clipboard. I'll have to see, but just I think it's just got probably tech, tech, tectronics or whatever information on it. 
All right, so this does have some equipment in here. I was trying to save all the equipment uh, for a one video. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. You guys can see it's got a lot of equipment in here. We'll show that in another video because I'm saving a bunch of these boxes to show you all the equipment in one box. So let's go ahead and get this box done. I'll show, don't worry, I'll show this stuff eventually with all the other Tektronix stuff or, you know, ham radio stuff. But let me show you what's in here and then we will conclude this video, guys. Here's the next box, um, box number two. And so let's go through this, guys. Let me put you down. I just like to show you now, this box I actually haven't went through besides a couple items, that's it. So let's go ahead and go through this thing and I'll show you what it is. All right, maybe he got this in Italy. I don't know, but it's like kind of pottery. Um, it's a taller one, but you can kind of see, you know, it's got definitely unique stuff going on here. So I'm not too sure, honestly. Wow, this thing is cool. What the heck? Look at this. Okay, ready guys? So the top comes out. And this comes out. So you have a cup. Just this made in China, but I think it could be older, so. And then, like that. The thing is amazing. I've never seen anything like this. Ever. Isn't that cool? Here's another cool piece uh, made in uh, trademark exclusives in Japan. So it is a music box, but the unique thing about this one is it's got it's got the gold trim. But it's also a T. You can put T in there, guys. So, you see? And it works. It is a little dirty. Oh, and it's got the little ledge thing so it doesn't fall out. See? You gotta point it down like that. This thing is pretty cool. Alright, let's see what this is. This is beautiful, wow. Look at that. Um, look at that thing though. It's got rivets, ridges, sorry. It's pretty big, so you can see my whole arm goes there. And it's kind of deep, but I don't know. Maybe this is like a candy dish? Pretty cool piece though. This is cool. Wow. Made in England. Kind of see there. And it's pretty tall. It's got kind of like a flower design on it. So it's an older piece. Maybe that's numbered. I don't know. I don't know, guys, don't know. As you can see, I've never, oh, this is milk, probably milk glass. Let's see, I think I found the lid to it, actually. Yeah, this is a pretty cool piece, too, look. I think it possibly milk glass. This is probably a candy dish, is what this was. Yeah, there's no markings on here, but probably a candy dish. It's kind of heavy, too. So there's that. Now we have a set. We do. Look how big this sucker is. Wow. It's 
pretty big piece. And you got this guy. Oh wow, is that? Hmm. It's got a ring to it. You know what that means. You know what that means, guys. Okay. We have another music box here. And we do. Made in Japan. And it's got the little lever on there, as you guys can see. But look at this. This is a cool piece. It's like a little honey bee, or a uh, honey uh, bee. Let's see if it works. Oh, oh man, I don't want to break it, but anyway. Pretty cool. Yeah! Oh! Man, what is the name of this? I forgot the name of this. Mom, if you're watching, you remember this brand. We sold a lot of it. Gosh, what is the name of this stuff? Um, and each individual, there, like, there's a bunch of painters that paint the, or, you know, a bunch of painters that paint these little things on there. See, it's right there. Gosh, what is this? Man, oh, no, not Felton. No, Felton, I can't remember anyways. Anyway, sorry guys. But yeah, this is a really cool piece. We sold a lot of this stuff actually and some of the pieces go for a lot some of them don't go for a lot man that's bugging me that i can't remember <clears throat> here's a spiky pretty cool piece another one Oh my gosh, we have two of them now. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Look at that. So now we have two. One big, one small. Because this other one's pretty big. You know? It's a little spiky glass. And is this depression glass? I don't know. It's got cracks on here. You guys probably can't see it, but there's a lot of cracks on this one. It's probably had some flowers in it at one point. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't sell a ton of glass. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, is this this black stuff? So you guys, you guys remember a while ago, a couple of videos ago, there was this black, oh yeah, I think it's the same material. It is. It's the, the black, there was like black cups, like a little teacup. It, this is the same material. Is this black? Yep. Yeah, this is black. Just like the other ones, I wish I can get those out for you, but. So we have these, I'll show you guys if we get any more here. But look at this piece, this is light. It's, it's glass, but it's like really light. Um, and it's massive. Huh, but. Wow, that's kind of a beautiful piece. Hmm. No markings that I see. It kind of goes with this a little bit. The same type of stuff. What, does that go in there? I don't know. Probably not. 
All right. Let me put this glass over here. I have no problem selling glass. You just gotta double box it. I put peanuts in mine too. But look at this. This is nice gold trim. Very deep bowl. And it says Germany on there. If you guys can read that. Germany. It almost looks like it's not shaped correctly or something. I don't know. But Germany, and I think it says 31, but I could be wrong. But yeah. All right. This must be the rest of the black. Is it? Nope, never mind. See, guys, I haven't actually seen this stuff yet. This has a uh, unique back to it. It's got that little silver thing. It says, my house. My house is small. No mansion for a millionaire, but there is room for love and there is room for friends. That's all I care. I'll be here all week, folks. Be here all week. Okay. This one has a little Japan. It says Japan on the back. I won't read every one to you, but it's got the gold trim on the sides. This must have been probably what they had hanging on the wall, maybe. This says Tiny Talk. Genuine porcelain. Made in Japan. <laughs> Friendships. Pretty cool piece. Got um, gold trim on the back. And this says, Lasting Memories, Genuine Porcelain, made in Japan. Wow, this thing is old, wow. Look at that. If you guys can see that really well. But in the back, you can see the chip right here. So it's got some issues, but. Main Japan. It says mother and dad. It's got the gold leaf trim on it. Here's just a little dish, it's a Christmas dish. It's got some bells. This one doesn't have any markings, but it's kind of a really cool plate with the gold trim. You can see the wear on it, they use this thing. And this is probably back before they were using dishwashers and stuff, so they were hand washing all this. It's got little imperfections right here. But, ah, that's an, I, I like that piece. Oops. All right. This one, so this is made in France. You guys can see that. Look at that. That's a pretty cool plate. You can kind of see it's got a little bit of like a beveled edge to it. We all need a little of this, right? Yeah. It's a cool plate too. Holiday plate. And the last one. Wow, this one is awesome. This one's made, it says, I, I don't think it's Iris, Germany. You guys can see that. Uh oh, you guys can hear the dogs. Made in Germany. But look, it's got the little, so you can hold it, gold trim. This is a nice plate, guys. Nice plate.
All right. As you can see, we got some everything here I got to put away. Hopefully you enjoyed today's videos. Um, like I said, hit the subscribe button. Much love. And uh, you guys have an amazing night. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. And check on mom in the morning at 11. All right, guys. See ya.